I'm with the Lancastrian protagonist or antagonist, depending on whether he eat pies or Yorkshire pudding, which side of the Pennines you live on. And I think we started the Adders Bills feature with Ryan Bailey. And if there was an equal and opposite in Lancashire, it'd definitely be Gareth Hawk. We could have even called it Rock Like Hawk or something like that. Uh, it's great to be able to catch up with you guys again. Uh, and it's brilliant to get an insight into who your top five toughest players that you've ever played against are. So let's start with number five. Who's your number fifth? Um, I've got to go with Adrian Morley, first one. Moz? Yeah. And why Moz? What was it about Moz? Um, just one of the freakiest forwards I've ever seen. Fit, strong. Yeah. Really powerful, muscly, muscly physique, but never took a backward step. Now, the guy that edits our show, Jimmy Bray, he uh, was furious at the fact that Brian Noble, <laughs> great honour as well, Brian Noble picked you in front of Moz for his best ever team, his top 13. How does that feel to, to sort of get in front of somebody like Moz, particularly regarding the fact that you rate him so much yourself? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, but like I said to you before, he's got a bit, bit of a soft spot for me, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the lad showed me the video, and uh, but it's a big, uh, it's a good uh, thing for nobody to say about me. Like. Number four, mate. Who's it? Number four. Number four, Jamie Peacock. All uh, right. Um, just played with him. Um, good captain. Just looked up to him a bit, and um, f for a Yorkshire bloke, he was. Um, he had. He always had time to like talk to me. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean? He's I've always like, talked to you. I know, but he, he was like a bit older and um, yeah, looked up to him. He's a tough bloke. Always been a always been a warrior. So when you went on the tours, international tours, Great Britain or England, was he somebody that you sort of got behind and encouraged you to go into them big games against like to Aussies or the Kiwis? Yeah, yeah. And like I said, like when I been a, when I was a kid, he, yeah. he, he had time like talk to me and he pumped me up a bit, you're alright, you're alright, so I always like to have a spot for Jimmy Peacock though. Brilliant, I've been fortunate not to have played against him too many times, uh, but certainly a stalwart legend, I've always said the Alexander the Great Rugby League, Jimmy Peacock in terms of toughness. Who's at number three in your mind's eye? Uh, number three, Mickey, Mickey McClorum. Yes, tough guy. Yorkshire lad, yeah. Um, boy. You've got two Yorkshire guys <laughs> in there, in first three. Yeah, can't not pick Mickey, my mate, he's a good mate, but tough as they come, uh, for, a, for a small bloke. Solid, solid bloke. He's a, he's a standingly guy as well, started off in Leeds, I don't mind saying, uh, down our end. Uh, grieved that he ended up at Wigan, I've no idea how he ended up, but what is it about Mickey behind the scenes, because he's a tough guy on it, but what is it off the pitch as well that you think makes him into such a tough character? Yeah, uh, he's just, he's, he's got a dry sense of humour, he's like, right. you don't know how to take him, and when he when when lads run at him, he, he just p p chucks everything he's got, he don't, he, don't, he don't care about his body, he's just, he's just crazy, but... Yeah, he's um, one of he's one of the toughest. He's a uh, he's a good lad as well. I remember playing at the DW once. I ran at him. He was a small guy. I didn't know much. You can about feel him. it, can't you? When it, mate, I could feel it. I got whacked. <laughs> I thought I'll run somewhere else next time. I think I ran into him. and got whacked again. <laughs> uh, who was uh, number two in your list? Number two was uh, Andy Farrell. Yes. Yeah. Who are we gonna? Um, just another good leader. Someone I looked up to. One of my best players. Um, right. So, yeah, he, he showed me the ropes as well when I was young and. Um, he was a, a very tough forward. He went to the proper end of his career and still had time for to come and talk to me and when I was in my troubled days and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. Andy Farrell. So, being a tough guy as well, some of these are tough guys, what sort of skills? I mean, you've mentioned uh, Adrian Morley, Jamie Peacock, who started off as a back row, a bit like yourself. Uh, Andy Farrell's probably one of the most skillful back rows ever to play the game of rugby league. So, did you take any sort of playing skills as well as that mental toughness from those guys as well? Uh, yeah, like Andy Farrell, like he was yeah. he was my hero, but um, he could play a bit as a second row and a forward, and could he? tried to play me game a bit like him. So that's why um, he's like one of my favourite players. Put on you, the big drum roll for Gana Fox, number one, mm -hmm. toughest player. Who is it, Gaz? Number one is Harrison Hansen. Really? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, that's, not, that's great. Go on, tell not, us why. Not for his um, his fighting side or anything like that, but he's. He's like a bit like Mickey Mack with right. his uh, tackling and body. He's, he, the lad uh, can hardly move his body. His, right. his fingers, his wrists are broke. He's, he can hardly do bench, can't do any weights. He just gets on, never complains, yeah. never misses a training session. It's full on. That's massive, that, and that's a, a big attribute and a virtue to have as well because as a forward in rugby league, you obviously get a lot of bangs, a lot of bruises, a lot of cuts, and the ability to go out the next week and play again and do it again is, is something that is impressed upon the other players as well, isn't it? Yeah. It does show a different type of toughness. Yeah, he's um, it's his 350th game today and 
I don't think he's missed a session this this year training. Right. He's uh, 31 and but he's still still going solid and he's split every week. Um, he's can't train much, but he's um he's a real he's a tough lad. Cool. There you have it, Gareth Fox, top five toughest players ever. Hard as bells.